Hello, I'm Ibex Toycat, and this is a feature video for Tidal Update 14, showing you some of the cool features that are going to be coming in Tidal Update 14 that they just announced yesterday with the PS4 screenshots. Um, so the particular two features I'm talking about today, they're, you know, they're really, really cool, but they're pretty short. Um, so what they are, are they're the flower pot, which is um, a really cool way to store flowers and a few other things, um, as well as the carpet, which can be made out of wool and essentially goes on your ground. But let's uh, show you how that works in a second. So first of all, the flower pots. Um, and just quickly, I'm going to be using PC gameplay to show you this, because first of all, um, it's actually out on PC now, meaning I can show you actual gameplay rather than just talking over screenshots. Um, second of all, it means I can show you in full 1080p uh, because it will be exactly the same as it is on the consoles, especially the uh, the PS4, which is uh, now actually confirmed as of yesterday's screenshots. So that's a cool little thing. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it um, with the flower pot. So the flower pot is made from bricks. It takes three bricks to make them. Um, on a PC grafting bench, you put them in uh, the same fashion used to make a bucket, but it's, you know, out of brick, so you get the nice flower pot outfit. Um, so you need three of these things, just throw them into a crafting grid, and boom, uh, an actual crafting table. Um, then you'll get one of these uh, small things, which you can place on the ground like so, um, and once you, you know, do that, you can then place uh, any form of stuff in there, um, for instance, a flower, for instance, a mushroom, for instance, a tree. There are actually some really cool things you can put in them. Uh, there are 16 different things, and it's basically all of the greenery that you can currently get in mind. Minecraft. Um and you'd be surprised at some of the things you can actually put on them uh, in them. For instance, you can actually put a cactus in there, and even though it's dirt underneath it, you still have a cactus in there, which um, will then not hurt you. So it's a way of having cactuses. There are mini cactuses, and they're really cool, and I, I just like the mini cactuses a lot. But yeah, it's a cool way to kind of show off some plants or put plants indoors without you know, ruining your house. Uh, they definitely have a lot of um, potential use in the game. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, so next up, we're going to cover the carpets. So the carpets can be crafted in your inventory, unlike the uh, flower pots, and uh, they're filled fairly simple to craft but their use is a little more complex so let's actually make all of it um, again this is PC that's why it's got the funny different craft bit but um, you can make them out of any type of wall by just going uh, with the two blocks across or on, obviously on the Xbox it'll be as simple as just uh, clicking in the auto uh, craft menu um, but it's really really simple to make them two blocks of wall gives you three bits of carpet and what carpet does is it basically turns another block into looking like wall which can make some really you know possibly creative looking fix. So let's uh, quickly show you these nine blocks. Um, we'll head over here and we'll just turn this all into red carpeted area. Um, so as you can see, it just it's a 16th of block tool. Um, you can actually place it on top of carpet, but then you get some really strange combinations where you can jump on it. Uh, and it's it's really odd when you do that. But yeah, um, it's a fairly exciting uh, little thing and uh, it really comes with a few little possibilities and stuff um, because it allows you to just make things that are so just... I, I don't know. It, it allows you to make really cool looking things without having to build the thing out of the uh, out of the whatever carpet color you want. Um, and they just they add a whole new element to making actual houses in the game uh, rather than just being a purely functional thing. They're a really nice looking thing. And if you look at this quartz, look how nice it looks with all the carpet on it now. And that's just with really basic carpeting. Uh, you can use any color of wool you want to make carpets. So you know, lots and lots of cool potential right there. Um, so yeah, carpets are really cool and flower pots are really cool. They're both decorative though. Um, um, so if decorative things are things you like, this is great. If functional things are things you like, you might want to check out the Never Court tutorial or the Anvil tutorial uh, because I cover them all in the same world again. Which is actually getting pretty nice, I think, with the with the the lovely uh, sorry the lovely carpets over here, the flower pots, the island of Coalstone. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Like it if you did like it. Share the video to let people know about our carpets and flower pots if you think they need to because the Lovely 14 is coming soon and it's super exciting uh, because this will be the update that's on four different consoles. PS4 Xbox One, Xbox 60, and uh, PS3. Uh, so yeah, please do share. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. So if you enjoyed the video and want to learn more about Title Update 14 um, and haven't seen the screenshots, you can click on the left side of the screen and you'll see my analysis of the screenshots as soon as they came out, uh, talking about the PS4, the PS3 edition, uh, what the screenshots mean, the new features, all of them that were in there. Uh, that might especially interest you if you haven't seen the screenshots. Uh, or if you have, uh, you can click on the right side of the screen and you'll see my cobblestone walls tutorial, which I talk about uh, the cobblestone walls that are going to be in the game, as well as the new types of food, mossy cobblestone walls, uh, a few various other things. So yeah, hopefully one of those two videos interests you. If you're on PC, you can just click them and get there. If you're on a phone, you can just go to my recent videos on my channel. So, yes.